let's just have a look at the markets just before the Dow opens. Mind you, the Dow has got 40 minutes till open, so plenty of time to do some prep. Uh, okay, so big push up here in the daily chart. You can see all the support here at 4.63. We just breached it. Didn't quite do a three-wave move, which is my favourite setup. And here we are at resistance, 24.380 roughly. So last week's high was 4.65, which would come close to testing, if not test tested. Um, so where do we go from here? Well, you can see we've got decent support at 2,400, 24,000. Um, so this is a key area here, these lows. So if we can come down and dip towards 300, three, uh, 250 was yesterday's close. If a gap fill would be even better, assuming this is going to continue. So gap fill at 250, otherwise decent support at 300 to see if we can break 460 and push, maybe make our way back to 25,000. All right, uh, let's have a look at the weekly. You can see we are still overbought to me, um, but the histograms are beginning to come up. Uh, they've not even hit the midline yet, so we, we are still in bear territory here. And the test of 24,925,000 is obviously going to be a major wall for this one. <clears throat> okay, so over to the DAX. DAX was sloppy <clears throat> during the, well, it's good during the German Open, sloppy during the London Open, and um, pulled back at the river and fired up on the, at the reversal time, so it's a late Euro session, which is typically half 10, half 11 UK time. And so we've seen that, we've dipped back into 140 and here we are at 245. So, uh, and we're getting a, a nice push higher as well. 12,003 is a big wall and obviously Twelve and a half thousand is going to be an even bigger area. If you look at the weekly, you will note that we have. Let me get back some more data. You will note that we have this support coming in, which we've held, lot, uh, tested last week. I've come in. Uh, around the 800 mark to uh, 11,800 picked up and so we've got resistance up here at that week's high which would take it up to 12.4 okay so 12.4 is a decent level of resistance in the DAX so look at Bitcoin because this is really suffering this this got seriously overbought hyped up um, let me extend this trend line. So that's taken from from November lows to February lows. We've not come in contact with it yet. We dipped down here on Sunday because this is operating um, seven days a week. I think we need a t at least a test of 58 and it wouldn't surprise me if we came down to 47 or 50 before this pulls back and then starts to pick up. It's just lost, now the line lights dimmed, it's really struggling and uh, not able to pick up the volumes. Okay, so all the highs are selling. And this trend line is firmly over that. So this is a decision area and we need a test of that support. We may get a breach of it, but if we close back above it, then buy. Um, 
if we close underneath this, uh, then obviously that, that spells trouble for that one. Forex pound. has been selling at this resistance up here on the daily, 141. Uh, we are we breached last week's lows. Come sneaked uh, we sneaked down to the 140 mark and trying to hold at this stage, but not doing a very good job of it. So I've been shorting highs for the last couple of weeks, and you know from that 240 mark, 200 240 mark, and so any other highs. I'm scaling out and scaling in all the time to take advantage of the waves. Uh, quick look at oil. Oil is struggling at this 6380. Uh, that's a hard call at this stage. Um, I think we need a dip. I need to think we need to come lower to get the buyers in. So if we can get the buyers in at something like 60, 61, I think that stands a chance of poking higher. Uh, I can see in the weekly it's clearer. We're in this apex in the weekly. If this is a bullish, if this is a bull flag, then I think we need to come in contact with this trend line and then we'll fire up. Um, and I think 70 is the mean average for oil. So I think if we come down to 60 or lower and hold, then I think we could eventually work our way up to 70 as we get towards the drive season. Okay, uh, I will leave it there. So a, a quick look at uh, gold. The moment we are risk on, so gold is out of favour, spiked higher and got sold into, so at the moment this looks lower. But we look as if it could come and retest 13 sometime soon. We're not far off it now. Hope that helps. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or feedback. That will all be very welcome. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye for now.